So the main points of the Supreme Court Hustler magazine versus uh, Jerry Falwell was, um, well, the two players were Hustler, which was a porn magazine that was published by Larry Flint. And in their 1983 issue, one of them, um, they had an article that was parodying these ads that were in other magazines for Campari, which is an Italian liqueur. And um, the editor, he, well, the gist of the article was a, that it was a parody of the other ads for it, which had a lot of um, double entendres about people's first time drinking Campari liquor. Uh, and to make fun of that, they made a parody ad about the conservative political commentator, relig- Christian fundamentalist, leader of the moral majority, preacher, Jerry Falwell. And it was a story about how he drunkenly lost his virginity to his mother in an outhouse with a goat. <laughs> Seeing as that is an offensive story, uh, he sued for libel invasion of privacy, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. Um, When Flint appealed, he claimed that it was his First Amendment rights, his freedom of speech. He mentioned the Fourth Amendment, Fourteenth Amendment, and because it wasn't written in malice, he said that he couldn't, or the guy couldn't claim that it was emotional distress, precedent by New York Times v. Sullivan in 1964. He said there was no intent to hurt Falwell, it was just a parody of the other ads that had um the versions of celebrities first time drinking the liquor and he said that the ad was reviewed by their attorneys prior to its publishing in once this reached the supreme court in 1985 88 i think what well when it was in the supreme court in 87 it was a unanimous decision in favor of hustler magazine um, and it was unanimous, all nine justices. Um, uh, the, the decision was written by uh, William H. Rehnquist, who referred to the ad as gross and repugnant, which is true, but <laughs> it was still allowed because of freedom of speech, and in 88, the decision was published. <laughs> One implication was Snyder v. Phelps in 2011, when Marine Lance Corporal Matthew Snyder's family filed a lawsuit against the Westboro Baptist Church after they held an offensive protest at Snyder's funeral with signs that said really bad things, such as thank God for dead soldiers and other super homophobic slurs were involved as well. And his family sued for defamation, invasion of privacy, and intentional infliction of of emotional distress. And the Supreme Court, 8-1, to decided that the church was um, protected under the First Amendment, quote-unquote, notwithstanding the distasteful and repugnant nature of the words. Um, Alito was the only one who dissented and said that, quote-unquote, our, nat- our profound national commitment to free and open debate is not a license for the vicious verbal assault that occurred this in this case. So that was one of them. And also just in general, like, basically all satirical newspapers and magazines are able to like make fun of people and things and ideas because of this precedent and less of an implication but more of just a result of the case um jerry flint who published the magazine and falwell actually became friends afterward and they toured college campuses giving um like talks and publicly debating morality in the first amendment